Hey, this is comedian Mark Marin, and I love Mr. Media Radio, even though he didn't let me go on as long as some other guests. Today on Mr. Media, that's MRmedia.com, I'll talk to Malik Panchali, a Tampa High School product who you'll recognize as Jack Donaghy's assistant, Jonathan, on the NBC hit 30 Rock. Stick around, or he'll rat you out to Alec Baldwin. Hey, did you know that you can listen to the latest Mr. Media on your phone with the Stitcher app? Stitcher is smart radio for your smartphone. Mr. Media is on demand and on the go with Stitcher. Download Stitcher for your phone today. Get the free download at Stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. Stop by and check it out. There are more than 600 archived celebrity interviews for your listening pleasure. The show is brought to you today by ThePartyAuthority.us. Planning a wedding, mitzvah, or corporate event? For any and all occasions, call The Party Authority nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs. That's 1-800-342-5357, where one call does it all. Mr. Media is recorded live before an audience of Berkeley Prep School thespians in the new new media capital of the world, Tampa Bay, Florida. Do you know who gets elected to Congress these days? Former athletes, washed up actors, and uh, women. I'm locked and loaded and ready for whatever these beltway lobotomites throw at me. What if we have to stay overnight and there aren't enough rooms? We have to share a room, and I forgot to bring a shirt to sleep in, and the stores are all closed? It's a war between TGS show producer Liz Lemon and NBC suit Jack Donaghy's assistant, Jonathan. Tensions have been escalating between the two for some time as they compete for the attention of their boss, although it would seem as if they're interested in him for two completely different things. As Jonathan, Malik Panchali's moments on the show have demonstrated how much an actor can do in a confined space. Have we ever seen Jonathan anywhere beyond the 20 feet or so path between his desk and Jack's? Does he sleep there? Even Kenneth, the NBC page, has a demonstrated life outside of the network, right? If somehow you've never seen it, NBC's 30 Rock airs every Thursday night at 8.30. Do your funny bone a favor and check it out, right after this interview. Malik Panchali, welcome to Mr. Media. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me on the show. We're delighted to have you. Uh, big, uh, big 30 Rock fans here. We've had a, a lot of your... Uh, uh, fellow cast members on the show, delighted to have you. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks so much. And where, where are you guys based out of? Uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, the new new media capital of the world. Haven't you heard? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I grew up in uh, I grew up in Tampa. Actually, I did all junior high and high school in Tampa, Florida. So uh, I know St. Pete well, and I'm a big fan of you guys as well. So thanks for having me on. Is that right? Well, you've got to tell us where did you go to high school? We'll spread the word. I went to uh, I went to the Berkeley Preparatory School, believe it or not, uh, uh, down in Tampa. I, I actually know it very well. I uh, coach uh, soccer over at uh, Shorecrest in St. Pete. We're uh, we know Berkeley very well. Oh, cool! Very cool! Very cool! Yeah, yeah. It's been a little. While. I haven't been down there in a little while, but uh, it was a great time. I know. I feel like Berkeley gets a little bit of a bad rap because it's a prep school and private school and all that all that crap. But uh, <laughs> but I had a great time there, and it was really, really a great time being in uh, Tampa. So I'll have to get down there soon and see you guys in person. Do you still have family here? Uh, I do. I have some family in Clearwater, actually. Not in Tampa anymore, but in Clearwater. Oh, very good. Very good. So does Berkeley, uh, you know, does, does Berkeley lay claim to you the way uh, Shorecrest does to uh, Monica Raymond over on Lie to Me? Oh, is that right? Is she from Shorecrest? Yeah. Um, yeah, Berkeley totally does. You know, I, um, you know, one of my biggest inspirations for starting out was a, a, a drama teacher at Berkeley Preparatory School who's still there, Kathy Grau. So a little shout out, shout out to Kathy Grau. She, um, she was kind of like the first person who was, who told me, she was like, you're funny. And I remember we even wrote some monologues together, uh, and she helped me audition for schools. And, and so, yeah, they, I have a, a very strong relationship with them. And, um, I think I think they've laid claim to me. I'm hoping I'm hoping they'll take some responsibility for the insanity that's happened since then. So, well, and how important is that first teacher? Uh, you know, especially in acting. You know, for me, I mean, it's been really important in that you know she. I mean, she really. You know, I was kind of like this nerdy little kid in school, and and I loved doing theater, and I was doing community theater shows, but but she was that first person who really said to me. Um, she, 
she said you're funny she's like you're funny and I think that kind of gave me the motivation to go see if I could if I could live in that world for a while and um, you know she really helped me with schools and so I think it's important for sure you know I think people find this career at different times in their lives and and um, make decisions about whether or not they want to do it or stick with it at different points in their lives but for me having that initial initial person give me that push was a, a, a great benefit now would your classmates recognize Jonathan as having anything to do with Malik or is it just too different? <laughs> I love it. I mean, it, yeah. Um, you know, I think so. I think they would. I think, you know, with every character, you're bringing a little piece of yourself to it. You know, there's, there's certainly a part of me that's a little obsessive, compulsive in the way that I think Jonathan is, you know, and a, a little, like, trying to micromanage and control things. And I, I think there's a little, a little part of me about that for sure. I was a total perfectionist growing up, you know. I was like... I was like that kid who had to get good grades, and if I didn't, it like the world was over. So, and I think there's a part of Jonathan that's like that too. You know, he's got to like micromanage and, and run Jack Donaghy's life to a T, otherwise the world's going to fall apart. So yeah, I, I, I think they'd recognize little pieces. Hopefully, not too many <laughs> <laughs> pieces here and there. And I, I gotta ask you, Malik. At what point did you see a change happen in your character? I mean, he he kind of went from having these very sharp moments. To now he's like stealing scenes from from uh, uh, Liz Lemon and, and Jack Donaghy. Oh well, thank you so much for saying that. My like, God, I mean, I feel like Alec and Tina are such geniuses. So to, to hear someone even say that I, I might be stealing a moment from them is that's quite a compliment. So thank you. Um, you know, the characters had such a trajectory. Uh, the char- when we when we first started, he only spoke through post-it notes. Hmm. Like literally in the very first episode, there was there was no dialogue, and the idea was that Alex's character Jack Donaghy was so busy that the assistant could only hand him post-it notes. There was no time for you know idle chatter, and obviously that's changed so much. So you know I don't know I don't know I think the shift was kind of gradual. It was kind of like this dynamic between Alec and I that the writers responded to, and then the writers started throwing more stuff our way, and then when that worked well, I think they they did more of it and. Certainly the disdain for Liz Lemon has really evolved, and we've gone from sort of like little snide looks to like full-on grabbing her arm or her pushing it back. <laughs> I don't know if you watched the live episode that she literally like throws water in my face, and so so that's really, really developed over the last five years. I saw that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's become kind of angry between the two of them. It's... Uh... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really fun. It's fun to play because I feel like you know, in in Jonathan's other world with with Jack Donaghy, it's like you know, always pleasing the boss and doing what he wants. And so it's nice that he has this outlet with Liz Lemon to let out all the other stuff. Mm. Well, uh, folks, let me remind you because uh, I think every although I think everybody knows you can catch Thirty Rock every Thursday night at eight thirty, and uh, look for our leak there. And uh, of course, you can catch up on uh, episodes you missed either at NBC.com or order the DVDs at MrMedia.com at a great price. And Malik, uh, graduate of uh, Berkeley Prep here in Tampa, thanks for being on Mr. Media. Thanks for having me on. My pleasure. Talk to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. For more original interviews with your favorite NBC Thursday Night Stars, surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. While you're there, give us a couple stars, write a review. It all helps. If you've got an idea for a guest or a comment on this show or you're interested in advertising on Mr. Media, Email me directly at bob at mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Andelman, or on Facebook, just search Mr. Media Interviews. It's also a great way to keep up on the latest guests and upcoming shows. Thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you sharing a piece of your day with Mr. Media. Thanks for listening. Go, go, yeah, you know. Yeah.